So we're going to take a look at this question that says prove algebraically that the reoccurring decimal 0 0.25 reoccurring has a value 23 over 90. So the fraction here 23 over 90. Okay so whenever you get a question like this the first step is to set this number here so the reoccurring decimal to a variable. So we're going to say x. We're going to use the variable x and say x equals 0 0.25 reoccurring. Now just to be clear what we mean by this is reoccurring just means it keeps on going on. So we've got this little dot above the 5. So that means the 5 keeps going. So it's 0 0.25555 dot 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 and keeps on going like that. And to represent that it keeps on going, instead of writing loads of 5s out, we just put a dot above the number that keeps on going. So in this point, the 5. So to be able to write it as a fraction like this, we've got to find a way to sort of eliminate this reoccurring part. I'm using a bit of a trick to do that. So if we got x here, what I'm now going to do is I'm going to write 10x. So we're going to multiply both sides by 10. So multiplying this side by 10, we get 10x. Now we've got to multiply this side by 10. So that will give us 2.55555 reoccurring. So the 5 just keeps on going. So essentially, whenever you get a question like this, your goal is to isolate the reoccurring part to the right of the decimal point. So in this case, we times by 10, which meant on the right hand side of the decimal point is just the reoccurring part. So hopefully that makes sense. And we'll see why we do that in a second. So the next step is we're going to take 10x and we're going to subtract x from that. So we're going to do 10x, subtract x, and that gives us 9x. So we're going to go down here and actually carry out the operation. So we know that 10x is 2.5555, so on. And x is 0 0.2555, and so on. So we're going to carry out the operation here. So subtracting it. So if you subtract all these fives from all these fives, just get a zero. Same here, zero, zero. We're going to take two away from five to get three. And we're going to put the decimal point in the same place. I'm left with two, take away zero, and we're left with two. So from this, I can say, okay, so now I know that 9x is what we just worked out here. So 2.3. And we've done what we need to. We've got rid of the reoccurring parts. So this is just 2.3 and it stops. We don't have any numbers in it, like up here with the 5. It keeps them going on and on and on forever. So now we need to get back to what we were originally talking about. So our original number up here, we represented with an x. So we need to get back to that state, really. So what we're going to do is divide both sides by 9. We're going to have x equals 2.3 divided by 9. So now we're back to our original number, we're back to x. Now, um, to get this into a bit of a nicer form, we're going to times the top by 10 and times the bottom by 10. Because remember, anything you do to the top of the fraction, you've got to do to the bottom of the fraction. And in doing that, we get that x equals 23 over 90. And that's fab, because if we look back up the question, that's what we needed to show. We get one mark um, for this working up here. So essentially setting our reoccurring decimal to a variable and work out what number we need to times that by to be able to subtract them to get down to a number that isn't reoccurring. And then we get our second mark for having gone through that process and getting to the correct answer that we need to show of 23 over 90.